Hi, STEM stars. Welcome back. Today, we're diving into the world of food chains and food webs. What are they? How are they different? And how energy flows in nature? Let's find out. What is a food chain? In every habitat, there's a one-way path that shows who eats whom, and that's called a food chain. So a food chain is a sequence that shows how energy and nutrients flow from one organism to another. The sun is the original energy source for nearly all life on Earth. The food chain always begins with an organism that can directly use sunlight to make its own food. These are called producers, like green plants. Consumers are animals that eat other organisms. Consumers can be divided into different categories. Number one, primary consumers. Animals that eat producers are also called herbivores. For example, goat, rabbit, deer, etc. Number two, secondary consumers. Animals that eat primary consumer are also called carnivores as they feed on other animals. For example, cat, frog, lizard, etc. Animals that take food from both plants and animals are called omnivores. For example, fox, bear, human, etc. They can be primary or secondary consumers. Number three, tertiary consumers. Animals that eat secondary consumers, also called top carnivores. Examples are snake, fox, large fish, etc. Number four, quaternary consumers. Animals that eat tertiary consumers are also called apex. Examples can be hawk, killer whale, tiger, etc. Arrows in a food chain show the direction of energy flow, from the food to the feeder. Let's discuss how energy flow through a food chain. Each form of food is a link in a food chain. Food chains usually have four links, not even more than five links. Why food chains are so short? That's because energy is lost at each level through heat, movement, and waste. Almost 90% energy is lost from each level and only 10% energy is transferred to the next level. The food chain ends with the top predator, an animal that isn't hunted by others. When it dies, decomposers break it down. What is a food web? In real ecosystems, organisms are part of many food chains. When you connect these chains, you get a food web. A food web is a network of interconnected food chains in an ecosystem. It shows how animals often have more than one food source and are prey to multiple predators. Some animals have many predators, others have few. All populations depend on each other for balance. What would happen to a food chain if any one link disappears? For example, if all grasshoppers are removed, spiders eat more bees, the population of bees would decline. The ripple effect continues. So, when one link breaks, others grow. Fewer herbivores mean more plants. Fewer herbivores mean less numbers of carnivores. Food chains and webs show how nature is connected. One small change can shift an entire system. Did you know that your food choices can change the food web? More meat consumption means more livestock farming which requires land and water. This can lead to deforestation and loss of wildlife habitats. Plant-based diets require fewer resources and may help protect biodiversity. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and subscribe to STEM Science for more fun learning. Until next time, bye.